up this here watermelon so then when we get done I get to rehydrate by drinking by eating this and drinking some water and get some nutrients at the same time I'd go hit up D1 
Nice. I just got done with the third session of the day wrestling with the D1 wrestler from Ohio. Now it's time to go home and get some more conditioning for the fourth round with Trey. I'm going super light. Save my energy for the morning. I'm just gonna sweat. Night after I told you we were gonna go hard this morning, I was like, man. Yeah. I was gonna do two more rounds on the bag and then walk 20 minutes. I can do that this afternoon. I mean, yeah, nine days out, dude, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me go see what I weigh right now. Oh, yeah. Breakfast, cuz. Got some water with watermelon, cucumber, limes, and strawberries in here. I'm gonna pour it in here. It's really tasty. Then I'm gonna add some KSP tab for electrolytes and to help with kidney stones, which I don't have, but helps you if you do. Watch it. It is good. I, I could keep this, I could keep this, and, and try to hurt him with it. Yeah. Or, I can detach, like so, keep the hook on. Mm. So I can put my foot, and I'll, I'll keep this knee bent for him trying to go under here. He's gonna try to look to yeah. that again, for control. <laughs> I just got done you know. doing morning conditioning. Got Bill Cooper in today. About to go over some ground stuff that my opponent does, so. Cover all bases, get some techniques from one of the greatest, and then go to Neo Life, get some physical therapy. Weight off my leg, but the other two, look, I don't feel like I can get on top of you. Yeah, just try it, like, try to focus on just keeping that weight on it and see if that works, and if not, we'll do it. Yeah, all right. Don't let me get your chin. Got you. Yeah, you pop your head out while you're still control. Yeah, now you're, now you're good. Now elbow cross the hip. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've used a lot. Mm hmm. Cat back. See, I already want you to. That's like good. Good shit. Yeah. Your lock up a little higher? Cool. Whew. It makes it a little more uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Woo! 
Don't get shaved my kneecaps again. It's a little A-stem uh, treatment, so it's a assisted soft tissue mobility. It's really just a, getting all the gliding and sliding, all the muscles, and especially around the kneecap, because the kneecap's a sesamoid bone, so it's floating in a, it's floating inside of a tendon. And you got four big quad muscles that all converge to pass through here, so it's easy for little bits of inflammation to get caught within those tissue layers. So we're just kind of almost like you're just trying to strafe out all that. You need that little hide and inflammation. Improve that myofascial mobility, that gliding and sliding. You hear that big quads? Yeah, they look good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you said it's super thin? Well, I think it's just some of this, that lateral knee for you. It's just some, look, a little, got a little gristle. Maybe a little scar tissue right around here. Yeah. yeah. I definitely need to stretch. For sure. Like, I mean, yeah. A little tight. Strong. I'll let it move. There's a baby there. A baby sitting right there. Doing that fall. <laughs> There's a lot more there. What do you mean, fat? I mean, your arms are just as big as they were when you was 145. Yeah. I don't, I don't lose much muscle. One more time. Hold tight. Hairy legs, though. Hey, I'm just going to have to get over that. We ain't shaving him this time. We ain't shaving him this time. Uh, this is a, a good little foam roller you can use just for like pre warm up, hitting them kind of. It's just kind of contoured, just does a little better. Yeah, um, I like that. I've never seen one of those. Just think of anything else you might need. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. He's an agility lab, so you can use it for your warm ups. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah. That's it, man. You feel good? Play good. Feel good. Weight's already down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This is just the. This is just the unfolding of something much, much, much bigger. I can feel, I can feel it. At first, I didn't want to get on a 135. I might be saying, but I was like, "Fuck, let's do." It. I love it, man. It's working out. Do you it's think getting... you would think about? It, do you think you would be at the level of dedication you are if you no. weren't? No. That's why everybody's like, man. Like you hear Brendan Chow and them talking like running 20 miles a day and not drinking beer and all that I'm like that doesn't that just sounds like somebody that's in better shape it's not like something that's right. breaking down your body really bad well it's just thinking there's there's going when you're at that lighter you're at a lighter weight your your joints because your joints you only get one set up yeah and the, the nobody once once that cartilage is gone it's gone and I think that's what people think about is they think about the wear and tear on the car I, I don't even think he's thinking about that. I think he's just thinking about, it. man, you got to put in that much work, you don't even get that weight class. But, fuck, I'm fighting in the top level right. of the sport, so why would I not be in the best shape that I could be? And yeah. I wasn't doing that at 145, so 135 is definitely right. right. Talking, well, you're here, it's a heavyweight perspective, too. You got to think there's ultra marathoners running 200 miles a week, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they get by, okay? It's each his own. But I think you're just. You're, you're finding the limits, man. I think you're literally like not even. That's crazy to think. I'm almost running 200 miles a week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 140. No shit. Yeah, man. All right, dog. Appreciate that. No doubt, man. No yes, doubt. Sir. I guess I'll see you tomorrow night.
And then you move to the bag, y'all move to growing and being good and move to the bike and the Mm -hmm. right. Hey, hey, y'all don't worry about what I bring now. You brought, yeah, yeah you just need dress clothes, right? No, nah, we're gonna go out, boy. Oh, I mean, I got some shit, yeah, okay. Hey, yeah. you got a uh, trash bag, or not trash bag, grocery bag, so I can... Like that? These, yeah. yeah. These are Bill Coopers, these are clean. But, the only thing... He's gonna be at there Wednesday, so... Oh, what the fuck I do? You bring the next picture press? No, it's the same. And... Savage Association Machine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh! Hey, got some hot chicks in here. <laughs> Biddies, if you will. A little bed to chill. Donald J. Chump. Chump. That's Donald Chump. 